The next lesson for statistics is how to encode in PSPP. But I think the first lesson to this one is uh, how to install PSP, SPP, especially if you don't have one. But if you have SPSS or statistics software, then you can always do that also. But for free software, you can use PSPP. So to download PSPP, you simply type PSPP for Windows. And PSPP is a free software from GNU, uh, from new project, new, new project. But for now, I have downloaded my PSPP installer before from this website, it's from the new project. But for now, they don't have a Windows version for PSPP. So if you don't, ha uh, if you can download from this site, uh, new.org, you can also download from SourceForge. Okay, so SourceForge is has a 9.2 out of 10 trust rating. So I think it will save. So then you click download. Then it should appear here. So Email so window screen of of your of your Chrome and since I have already downloaded this before, so there's four seconds to download. And, but actually, it will take I think uh, at least thirty minutes to one hour. Okay, so since it's a forty-seven MB file, so now that we have a downloaded version, you just open the file containing this folder so either you show in folder or you open so you can just show in folder then it will redirect here so it's a PSPP 2020 0 daily 64 bits setup.exe so see it's 64 bits please make sure that your computer or your laptop is a 64 bit setup Okay, so to find out if your system is a uh, 64 or bit, just go to your system information or your system. System. Oh, so my system type is a 64 based PC, so it's a 64 bit PC. So dapat ang install ng PC is a 64 bit. So since this is compatible with the installer that we've downloaded, so you can now click on, you double click on this one. Okay, then after that one, just click yes. You want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your service, then yes. And PSPP, um, PSPP for Windows is available for download of a free membership. So you just click next. Then the program file is on PSPP, so you simply click install. Then so you just wait for this one to finish. It really takes uh, a short time, no one So I'll just wait for that one. Just ignore my desktop. As you know, I'm using OBS to record the videos and I don't really edit it, so you can actually skip these parts. So let's complete that. So you simply close this one. And then you should find a PSPP shortcut somewhere on your desktop. And then you click on this one. Okay. And so it should look like this one. So you are now ready to use PSPP so you can proceed to the next video.